The Colleges of Los Rios have been delivering great education to students throughout the region for generations. Now more than ever before, our approach to how we do this is changing, and the way that we've always done things may not be the best strategy anymore. New initiatives are coming at us faster than ever, and the rate of change is more likely to speed up than slow down in the coming years. So how do we integrate all of these changes? These new ideas and ways of doing things aren't disconnected or separate. They are all part of a larger, fundamental shift to focusing more intentionally on student outcomes. How do all these pieces, specifically promise programs, the move towards guided pathways, and the tools associated with making those pathways a reality, fit together to help us accomplish this goal? It starts with redefining what we mean when we talk about access. We want all students to have access to a path towards reaching their goals, not just a foot in the door. So we need to look at all of the barriers to pursuing a degree, transfer, or certificate that our students face. For generations, we have touted the affordability of our colleges. It's true that our fees are among the lowest in the nation and that the Board of Governors Fee Waiver, soon to be renamed the California College Promise Grant, provides a fee-free education for many students. But new research shows that the net cost of an education for low-income, independent community college students, when you factor in the cost of books, transportation, and living independently, along with the amount of financial aid available to students, is actually greater than that of the average CSU or UC student. So when we talk about Promise programs and look to expand the successful models underway in Rancho Cordova and West Sacramento throughout the region, it's about looking for partners to help us to address this issue throughout our system in a way that benefits all students. Redefining access also means looking at the student experience, which is why there is so much momentum towards redesigning our colleges through faculty-led pathways discussions. For years, the idea of offering as wide a variety of course selections as possible has been an effective way to grow our colleges. But research shows that this approach has placed the students who need our colleges the most at a distinct disadvantage. We all value the role of academic exploration at college in a student's intellectual journey, but the more time students spend in courses disconnected from their program or major, the less likely they are to complete their education. On top of that, they risk using their limited financial aid on courses that don't help them accomplish their goals. That's why building pathways that guide students is so critical and important enough to be the first goal of our district's strategic plan. Today, we don't have the infrastructure in place to make these changes for students. Faculty and staff throughout the district are already stretched thin, so we need a more efficient way to deliver just-in-time supports to students when they need them. That's why we are investing our time and resources into new student experience lifecycle tools. When students have access to a real-time progress and planning interface, they'll be able to make more informed decisions about their education. On top of that, our classes aren't always scheduled in a way that makes it easy or even possible for students to accomplish their goals on time. A new course scheduling tool will help us get more students into the courses they need quicker and eliminate more barriers to their success. In combination, these tools will provide the necessary foundation to help build a new model for how we support students through our colleges. Over the coming years, we will be looking at new ideas and different approaches for the work we do, understanding the efforts underway, and working together to see how the pieces all fit together will help us deliver the best possible education to students at our colleges for generations to come.